Here's the iPad Air 5th generation. I'm going to show you how to transfer photos and videos directly from the iPad to your Windows computer, Windows PC, or a laptop using the cable. So first thing to note is the cable that comes with your iPad Air 5th gener generation is a USB-C to a USB-C. So hopefully your Windows computer has a USB-C or a, a Thunder port a, a Thunderbolt charging port. I have one here, okay? If you don't have this, then your other option is to use a USB-A to a USB-C and then you can use the USB into a USB outlet. Okay, anyway, I do have a USB-C port on my laptop here. So I got one end into my laptop here. The other end, I'm going to go ahead and plug it into my iPad now. And I'm going to go ahead and sign in here. I see something says Apple iPad right there. Let me go ahead and sign in. And we should get a message on our iPad. It says, allow this device to access photos and videos. I'm going to click on allow. Oh, allow right there. Okay, now... Now that it is plugged in, now what I'm going to do is, you can see the File Explorer, that little uh, yellow folder right there. You just want to go ahead and tap on that. If you don't have this down here, you can go to search and you can type in File Explorer, okay? So let me tap on that little folder right there. And then this here, this window here pops up. Now from here what we want to do is, we want to go down to this PC. So I'm going to go down to this PC right there. I'm going to tap on that. And now I can see I can see my hard drive here and I can see my Apple iPad right there. So let me double click on my Apple iPad right there. And now I'm going to double tap on internal storage. Now double tap DCIM folder. And then you should have several folders here, okay? All the folders you have in here has all your videos and photos. So I only have one folder here. Let me double tap on that. Now we can see I have uh, photos and videos here. Um, I know that there are uh, photos here because it's a PNG file, PNG file. If it's a video, I can kind of see the um, the film right there. So I know that this one here is a video. Anyway, from here, you can just go ahead and save it directly to your computer. You can drag and drop right onto your desktop if you wish. Or what I typically do is I'll right click on the desktop. I'll go to new. I'll go to folder. And then I'll type in, uh, okay, I'll just name it um, new folder right here, and then what I typically do is I just select all of them, and then I drag and drop into that new folder I called new folder. Go ahead and let it transfer. Okay, it's done. You can go ahead and click that out. I can go ahead and pull out my iPad and now that new folder if I double tap on that now I can see all the photos and videos that are saved onto my hard drive on my Windows computer now okay pretty simple good luck guys